So at this point, you're just simply making splotches, and those splotches will become the bodies of our birds, or if you were making a flower. And you just have to drop the paint onto the wet paper. This is the good thing about using watercolor paper, because it lets it just spread. And if you were using regular paper, you would see that that, that wasn't the same. Now you'll see the first one that I was that I was making in this video. And you can see how it spreads out. If it spreads too far, you can always use a paper towel and pick up the paint. You can see here that I am using the paint with a lot of water in it. So mix in the purple and then putting it into the water or using it with a lot of water in it so that it spreads out more. See how it feathers out? The cool thing is that almost any of the splotches that I made I could use unless they spread weirdly but you look at them and you say hmm that's a tall skinny bird or that's a really fat bird or if you're making it into a flower then you can just make it into the kind of flower you want. Here I'm putting paper towels on top of um, the wet one and when you take it off it makes a lot lighter color underneath. It's one of the ways of making it dry and you can see there's a bit of a pattern off of the paper towel. The other one I just let dry and eventually it looks dry. There's, there's one of the pink ones that are dry and here you can see what they looked like when they dried. I think this one looks a little bit like a fish. The dark colors tend to go to the edges. So here we have a splotch, all dry and pressed. And I'm going to add the tree. And this one, on some of them I added a flower. <coughs> now I'm adding the grass. And take the micron pen and draw around, squiggly around the parts that are there and then add legs, the beak, some feathers. You can add whatever you want onto it. Here's the one with the flower. You see me here. I'm painting some of the tail feathers. So this is dry, so you can see it's not spreading. You're going to see that I'm going to dry off my brush and then remove some of the paint so that there's a bit of shading in the feathers. These pens are uh, waterproof and so even if the ink gets wet it doesn't run. I always add a, a ladybug to my pages. There's some of the ones that I have finished. This is the original card that Carolyn asked me to do the tutorial about in the first place. And you'll see I, I used my brush and sprayed the, the background a little bit. You'll also see the the flower is a little bit different. You can just add little different details. And there was a pink spot in the middle, so I turned it into a, a wing. So if you plan to make a scrapbooking page, this is what it looks like. It's pretty simple. Um, the small pictures are the little two by threes. 
and I used computerized titles um, and put the two birds facing each other. You'll see the one bird has boots on just for fun. If you decide to do boots, make sure you do the boots first, then put the feet into it. And yeah, you could also make use two five by sevens instead of the birds if you want. And then you would have, um, you just have to cut them down a little bit. Cut the sides of the five by sevens off and make them tall and skinny. They might not be quite as tall, but they'd be pretty close. So that's all. I hope you have fun. I can't wait to see what you do. Bye-bye.